Mike Tyson forgot he was on television and got smart with the model. His touching is not consensual, and Maradona seemed to dislike that. Esta es la nueva camiseta. Y yo te la voy a firmar para ti. Y ella es una amiga mía. No, no, no. La puedes abrazar. No, no, no. I forgot, I forgot. Me olvidé, me olvidé que estábamos en televisión. The images may seem harmless, but what's behind is an undeniable violence against women. This is how the boxer celebrated in his mansion while awaiting the trial that would cost him his freedom in 1992. He would open the doors of his house to dozens of female fans and spend the night partying with them. We're learning that uh, Mike Tyson continued to live the wildlife even after he was charged with this horse, Pablo Guzman, found a rarely seen home video taken, uh, taking us inside Tyson's private world. Listen carefully, the audio is hard to understand and what you can hear is really explicit. Even the accounts of those who knew him best are harrowing. He is... He's got a side to him that's scary. Michael is intimidating, to say the least. I think that there's, there's a time when he cannot control his temper, and that's frightening to me or to my mother um, and to anyone around. It, it, it's scary. The boxer was known to have a very explosive temper but he's never been so exposed on television. What happens? <laughs> he, he gets out of control. Um, throwing, screaming. Does he hit you? He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. He, sometimes I think he's trying to scare me. Uh, there, there's, there's, there are times when, or there were times that it happened when I thought I was, I could handle it, you know. And just recently I've become afraid. I mean, very, very much afraid. It only took Robin Givens about a year to realize that there was something wrong with Mike Tyson, and she felt the need to tell the world how violent the boxer was. I can't imagine that anyone could live with Mike Tyson and not recognize that there was a problem. I mean, let me say this. I mean, there are times when Michael is manic and he's incredibly abusive. Not, not physically, mentally, verbally abusive. I can't imagine that anyone live with Mike Tyson, the one that I know, the one that I see, and not recognize that there's a problem. Yet, the boxer, one of the most important in all of American sporting history, had an explanation to defend himself against the accusations. He didn't want to take on everything that was being said about him. It's been unfair, definitely. But I had a lot to do with it being unfair. You know, the way I've talked to people and exaggerated stuff and all that stuff. So um, whatever it is, whatever it was, um, the common denominator was that I was there, that I caused some of it too. So it didn't just come osmosis out the air, like, wow, Mike Tyson is a woman abuser and we have no evidence. No, I've, I'm a human being, I've abused women, women abused me. It was like a, a twin blade, we both abused each other. The subject of Mike Tyson and women has been very controversial. In the 1990s, he was even accused of sexual abuse and was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but he only served three years behind bars, being released for good behavior. But for the boxer, Desiree Washington's accusations were just lies because according to him, he had never done it. So did you do this? Did you oh, I that slimy bitch. However, years before this interview, Tyson hinted that maybe it was all true. I was young, you know what I mean? I wanted to have fun, I enjoyed having fun, and maybe I took it further, whatever. Ese tiempo dentro de la cárcel, eh, sin duda, le afectó, y, y no sabremos cuánto, porque tanto mentalmente como físicamente, no, Mike no tenía acceso a lo que a lo que le daba paz y a lo que regulaba tal vez su estado mental, que era estar dentro de un gimnasio de boxeo tres veces al día. Seis horas al día. 
Mike Tyson will be recognized as a historic boxer, but also for all the episodes of abuse in which he has been the protagonist. And despite the accusations, the boxer continues to defend himself. I had fights with women. I was a young kid. I know nothing about any kind of relationship with women. And um, I don't know. What do you want me to think? Am I amongst them? Am I a, a brutalizer? I hate women? No way. 